Hi YouTube, Retro25 with a Transformers Prime review. Actually, I am actually back with Transformers Episode 15 um, Operation Breakdown. I'm sorry about the state of me. I've just gotten out of the shower from a long, busy day at work. And it was up in Manchester, it's been really, really hot and the hay fever which I suffer from it's awful awful yeah you can see that I've got a goatee today a beard and moustache yeah it only takes a week to grow with me I have actually just you know, just cleaned it up a bit um, okay operation breakdown where can I begin the open scene is very m mixed feelings about it because it you start off with a big battle between Bulkhead and Breakdown and in previous episodes before there's been chemistry there's been history with them and I actually thought we're going to get some of that some like flashback like a flashback episode and it's like um, Predator which was a really good episode for Transformers Prime with a uh, Ratnik and RC's background um, and we don't that's the thing Unless it's going to be built up into like a really big, um, like in the season kind of thing. Um, a lot of people have watched the reviews on it and they said that it's not really good. Actually, I have very good points about it. Mech's return. I like Meg and I like Clancy Brown doing the voice of Cyrus. He has this sinister, evil, natural, bad guy villain in it. And it's, he's just brilliant. Um, breakdown and Bulkhead into the episode. They are having a battle. Um, they end up getting Bulkhead gets a, a mean breakdown, gets a lucky shot in and knocks Bulkhead out and then you see this plasma energy weapon that stuns Breakdown and Mech has a choice to steal one or the other and Cyrus says Tell you what, let's just get on with the strong robot, basically the one who won the fight. Basically, breakdown. Uh, then you just cut into the credits. Then you wait. Bulkhead wakes up with Miko saying Marco or Polo say, and Bulkhead's lights. He's just been out. On a big piss up down Manchester City Centre on a Saturday night. Believe me, it's a very good thing. What I could remember. So, so he goes there, he has his um, wait so and Basically, they saying, didn't you not say what happened to Breakdown? They're saying, Bulkhead replies, did you take him out? No. It must have heard a helicopter, Bulkhead says. Could have been Agent Fowler. Fowler comes in and says, no, it weren't me. <laughs> and they're saying, oh, we have mech sightings. Um, 
So that's basically what happens there. With the Decepticon side on board the Nemesis, Starscream came to report oh Breakbound's been captured by Earthlings. And Megatron just turns around and does a Megatron thing. I think it's more sinister kind of me Megatron, a very, very more sinister tone than the original G1. Even though Frank Watt is doing, did the G1 Megatron and he's doing this Prime Megatron. I like his Prime mm, Megatron, it sounds more evil, more sinister. And he just turns around and says, if Breakdown's willing to get defeated by one smaller, weaker, and more inferior to him, let his own fate be what it is. And the Star Screen tries to say, let's rescue him. So, at the end of the day, he doesn't do. He doesn't. Megatron. So Starscream just agrees with Megatron. And that that's basically what the Decepticons do. And now is so Prime says, well, we have to go and rescue. Breakdown because even the evilest robots might have signs of light in it in each of them. So <coughs> we they tried the best to do the best to get breakdown on to their size and Prime says I mean Bulkhead says to Prime I'm not going Miko ends up having a strop with her saying and it's just basically saying it doesn't this is the part where I would love to see a like flashbacks you no know, this is the perfect time to put into this episode flashbacks and they don't I would like to see the flashbacks of bulkhead and breakdowns argument but they don't that's the only one thing that makes this episode good stops it being great but it's a good episode it's better than shadow zone i can say that shadow zone i will watch if i'm watching the series over and over but i wouldn't class it as my favorite but um I'm having mixed feelings about this episode. But they do have going for this rescue mission, all the others, Volker saying, just stay here with Fowler and Miko. You have no Raph and you have no Jack. It's just Miko and Agent 4. So. The. End up watching a horror movie. Meekle's not being her usual self. And she just turns around. Says to Bulkhead, basically, how selfish you're being. Why? It's not so much as rescuing, go and helping him to rescue him. It's going to rescue him so he can beat him in a rematch. 
And if you don't help him, you will never get this rematch. And you always see that he will have that knockout blow in the first episode. First, first scene in this episode. That day one. So. That's the thing. Stop, sir. So, I'm having a lot of pauses in this video because I haven't got much to say about it. It has very good action in it. Very good story in it. The only thing that was missing is flashbacks. But at the end, I like the ending. Bulkhead and Breakdown set aside their differences to work together to escape. When Starscream comes in and basically says, it's either them or us, so this breakdown goes, drives off, says, so long next time, thanks for nothing. But at the end, I like the ending of this episode. It is a very, very, very good ending. It basically says at the remember what you've seen today. Sooner or later, you will have to make a choice. Breakdown says between all the bots or the Decepticons. He says no, between me or Megatron. <laughs> So basically, he's got knockout and breakdown on his side now. And he's got loads of drones at his own disposal. The only one thing that stops him is Soundwave. Is this going to be the Starscream? This is the best Starscream I have ever seen in a series next to Transformers Cybertron Starscream. G1 was great. He set the page. He's great Starscream. But Cybertron passed it's actually showing us this warrior, what we have, the the great warrior star screen, and in this series we're getting G one and this great warrior and great leader of star screen. So, at the end of the day, I really do like. Um, Transformers Prime all because Starscream Peter Cullen's great um, Frank Walker's great but Starscream's that icing on the cake I have to say of this series so this is Rap Trap 25 signing out uh, with my episode 15 Transformers Prime review and be back next week with another Transformers Prime review. Comment below on what you've seen here, please. Bye.